What's going on guys? Mount Air Mitch here bringing you a video and today I would like to talk about should Dana Holgerson be fired as the head coach of West Virginia and our athletic director Oliver Luck made a statement today that said that uh, he is still sticking with uh, Dana Holgerson and I can understand why he done that because a lot of people were questioning Holgerson's job and they're right they should. Um, this is my personal opinion, and uh, you guys can take it or leave it. Leave your leave what you think down in the leave what you guys ugh, think in the, the in the comment section. Sorry, I can't even talk today. Um, and let me know what you guys think should happen to Holgerson, or if anything at all. But my opinion is, my problems with Holgerson is he just don't seem like a head coach. He is very angry all the time. He doesn't seem to be able to rally the guys. He doesn't get excited. He doesn't get hyped. And uh, I'd rather have a coach that does that. Or I mean, he does. He is angry a lot. And I mean, that is in a good way. He always wants for, to strive for, for perfection, and that's a good thing. Uh, but not all the time. You know, you got to be able to. You know, have fun with your players. You know, Mike Gundy goes in the locker room and dances and stuff. And, and you know, that gets your players motivated and happy to win the game, you know. And, um, you know, just uh, Holgerson just had a bad year this year. Well, he hasn't had the best years at West Virginia so far. And just by poor clock management, you know, not the right plays always called, you know, and and a lot of it, I mean, could be put on the offense. Um, that's in the defense also, and that that's going to be for another video sometime this week. But the upside about Holgerson is he is a great offensive coordinator. And, you know, and I think that he has some recruits coming in that may help West Virginia in the future. But he has to be able to win. You know, look at back at Holgerson's track record as, as a coaching job. And he is a great offensive coordinator. Don't get me wrong. If he was West Virginia's offensive coordinator, I, I think he would be you know, he would be at the top of a list of offensive coordinators like he has been in the past, you know, puts up like 400 yards a game. And West Virginia this year really didn't have that problem. It was just finishing and getting points, you know. And, you know, I I think he should, I think he deserves one more year, but he is definitely on the hot seat. And he should definitely be able I understand Alabama is the first game, and of course letting Saban not be able to win it. Saban not win might not be winning the national championship. I'm recording this before the national championship game, and Alabama is ranked fourth. And things can obviously happen to get Alabama back in the national championship, but right now it's not looking very likely. So looking forward to that, Nick Saban's gonna come out busting his butt, and West Virginia's gonna be the first team he's gonna be looking at. After his bowl game, whoever that is, um, he's gonna have all whole, all off season to prepare for that, and that's gonna be tough, especially playing. I think we're playing in Alabama, but I I think Holgerson should keep his job, and you know, I, it's really tough because of the lot of bad decisions and how West Virginia become a little bit of a Live well, stock of the Big Twelve. I, you could talk to anybody and look at the records of Iowa or Iowa State and Kansas. And said, "Yeah, they could beat them." And a lot of teams don't look at Iowa State and say, "Well, they've been in every game." You know, I've noticed that. And when West Virginia was up 17 points in the fourth quarter, and that momentum uh, shift happened, West Virginia just had all the air knocked out of them. So you know, and I and that's and that is a part of the coaching, you know. And, you know, and a lack, lack of players, you know, experience playing together has somewhat to do with it. But at the bottom line, you know, I don't get to say what happens, and that, neither does the fans. The loan might have something eventually to say about it, but uh, Oliver Luck has decided to keep 
Culver's there for one more year. But guys, I'd really appreciate it if you left a comment. Let me know what you think. I really enjoy reading the comments. And I'll try to reply back to all of you guys. Um, that's really about it, guys. My name is Sign Out. Peace.